That sounds good. You can trace some influences, but when they play together, it becomes a whole other thing. It becomes the Wood Brothers. It's not blues, and it's not soul, but it's all of those things. From R&B to gospel to country, but, but sort of the, the more classic and pure versions of all that stuff. You know? and then, There's something about when brothers sing together and play together, they're great. Bands play together for years and years, and you get this kind of psychic connection with each other and I had that with Modesky, Martin and Wood but I remember the first time after all the years apart that Oliver sat in and we played together we had that immediately. I recognized what he was playing and understood where he was going and he had the same instincts as I did. It's amazing to me to watch cats that are this good and have that relation thing going on. So this is something that's just naturally and organically grown. You know, we were a duo for many years and then just within the last couple of years, Jono has joined us, so we're, you know, officially a, a trio. It just keeps growing in, in all, every way. It's huge. <laughs> it's, out it's totally out of control. <laughs> For the muse and the soul guitar The times like these so sweet and so true And thinking is the last thing Smoking Halo was, was our first fully trio album with a drummer throughout. And so we spent the last two years integrating all those talents that he has into our sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the sound has developed quite a lot. And the live shows have developed a lot too. We can play full on drum set, more rocking, or we can break down to a very spare, sparse acoustic, and John can play the melodica. Or... There's a lot of variety now. You know, they know what they're doing. They're, they're great, they're pros. Oliver produces records, you know. I mean, they know what they're doing. You just try not to to mess it up. I feel like it's influencing us on this record just because we have Buddy Miller. Buddy producer, Miller, yeah, you know, and, that's a big influence. And he's a staple Nashville guy, and his, just his knowledge and experience, and he's such a seasoned right. writer, producer, player, and he gets it. There's so much great music everywhere, and he seems like he's been everywhere and researched it, and he knows he's a musicologist. To me, I just listen hard is my gig, and try to frame the record sonically, you know, find a sound that matches what they're doing. This last year has kind of been our best year ever as far as growing our audience and you know, the music evolving into, into what we feel like is our own sound, you know, it just gets more, becomes more us every year, you know. We just have our own recipe. I feel all 